but more importantly, how creative they could be with them. What are you making? Do a little tomato salad with some fennel. Newest blue team member, Manda, impressed. Love the fennel on tomato salad. Thank you, Chef. Good job. Hell yeah, we'll take this chick on our team. But it was Joe who had the team's high score. That's a five. Yeah, Joe! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. For the red team, the shining stars were Ariel. That's five for five. Good job. And Ashley. Ashley, that's a five for five again. Good job. And with both teams accumulating the exact same total of points, <laughs> Chef Ramsay gave the win to the team with the best dish, which belonged to... Ashley, well done. Red team wins. Great job. At dinner service, Jackie was overwhelmed on garnish. Not overwhelmed. And Hassan was feeling the heat on fish. Was sweating into the lobster. But one chef had a breakout performance and helped the red team finish service. Two minutes on my risotto. We're all going to meet at the pass at the same time. Perfect. Ariel, always a sign of a great leader. Supporting the weakest and getting them to the very top. That was born a beast. In the blue kitchen. Hey, hey, young man, I'm dying. Eddie dragged on garnish all night. Garnish, are you ready? Let me get my pan working. And Joe was disappointing in the dining room. Joe, move your ass. My mom never yelled at me this much. But with Jared's leadership. Guys, pull it together, all right? We're working together. The blue team completed all of the tickets. Service, please. With both teams struggling all night, Chef Ramsay decided there would be no winning team. But he did single out. Ariel, in control from start to finish. And Jared, your best performance so far. Giving them each the power to choose two nominees. Guess what, bitches? I got all the power. <laughs> While Jared used his new status to get his team in line. Read your case. This is ridiculous. He's just acting like he was the <laughs> godfather. You're enjoying this a little too much. Ariel already had her mind made up. I'm putting you up for elimination. You got power, and you're making a bad decision. Ariel nominated. Jackie and Kristen, chef. Jared nominated. Eddie and Joe. In the end, it was Eddie, who saw his dream of becoming the head chef at BLT Steak at Bally's Las Vegas go up in flames. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here and good night. Good night, chef. Hot diggity dog. I almost had a heart attack. Thank God I'm still here. I mean, if I could get voted in again, Chef Ram's gonna eliminate me. I thought me and you were going, y'all. Oh, jeez. I really did. After another long and stressful day, the <laughs> chefs unwind with a few drinks on the patio. <laughs> That's so bad. Ariel. What did I do? Yeah, she had too much wine. Bitch down, bitch down. <laughs> 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 I have to go to the bathroom. I know that I'm going to have the worst hangover in the world, but I like to be loud. I like to be active. I like to have fun. Ah! Oh! 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 All right, I might have really just broke my ankle. Man, my foot hurts. I'm a little bit worried about my foot. I think my leg's getting a little swollen here. Can you retract your foot back? Now push on my hand. It hurts. I can do it, but it hurts. My guess is you pulled the tendons or ligaments to go around the side of the muscle here. The trick, obviously, is stay off of it for six weeks. This is not good. I'm just going to rest it and, and go to sleep, so I'm ready to get into the kitchen tomorrow. Leaving this competition is not an option. so much fun. I hope it's a fabulous gay wedding like Neil Patrick Harris. Even though he's been married, who cares? 
rarely do I close Hell's Kitchen for a private wedding reception. But tomorrow night, this lovely bride and her new husband will be having their unique wedding reception here. And let me tell you all, it needs to be perfect because the bride is very special to me. It's someone you might recognize. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Bryce and Andy Cutspeck. Get to meet her. Chubby Andy's a beast in the kitchen. Gorgeous. And her husband Bryce is a really good looking guy. <laughs> good to see you both. You Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, uh, Chef Andy's been the sous chef here in Hell's Kitchen for over the last six years. So this is a big event for me. Now, I thought I'd give you all the honor to contribute to this unique menu tomorrow night. And that is your next challenge. Yes, yes chef. chef. Each team must come up with six dishes, two stunning. Seafood appetizers, two phenomenal chicken entrees, and two extraordinary beef entrees. The bride and groom, of course, will be judging your dishes. Andy, what's the kind of things that you're looking for? I really want the dishes to be elevated. That is, you know, my friends and family that are going to be here. Bryce, what about you? I definitely want bigger portions, nothing too dainty. I'm a big guy, I've got a big family. You know, we like to eat, so make it elegant, but, but plentiful. One last thing. I don't normally do this, but because this is so important, I'm going to tell you what the reward is before we begin cooking. The winning team today will enjoy an incredible high rollers day and night in Las Vegas. <gasps> oh. You've all got 45 minutes to come up with six stunning dishes. Blue team, there's five of you in there, six dishes. Work it out. And your time starts now. Let's go. In today's wedding reception menu challenge, the teams must prepare two seafood appetizers, two chicken entrees, and two beef entrees. Who's doing what? Let everyone take on one dish. The winning dishes will be featured on tomorrow night's wedding reception menu. I'm going to do a grilled stuffed squid, yeah. And I'm going to do like a citrus tempura batter shrimp and do five shrimp on the plate. We'll do some prawns and like a champagne nage. Maybe a seafood chowder. Chowder? Yeah, I got a seafood okay. chowder. We got to do right. two chicken dishes. I'm doing a uh, pan-fried chicken breast. I'm doing a roasted chicken, and then I don't really know. All right, I got a beautiful chicken franchise. I think we need one more chicken. We need one more chicken. Joey, can you do one more chicken? What about a stuffed chicken with a little mozzarella and spinach? It is a big responsibility. I'm making two dishes because there's only five of us. So there's a lot of pressure right off the bat. I want to take beef. A filet is fine. You're going to do filet. I'll do the ribeye with a pork pomegranate gastric. I'm going to do a veal chop. I have no idea, guys. I need help right now. Like, holy like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, me. Dude, I don't even know. Do ribeye. OK, what do you want to do with yours? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, we could always do, like, like a little surf and turf, too. You can do a surf and turf, absolutely. Oh, my god. I don't have time for this. If I do this to the ribeye, is it going to be too close to the veal chop? No. No? OK. No. Amanda doesn't have much experience, and uh, I don't trust that. So I'm also making steak Diane. All right, guys, how we doing? How we looking? Looking pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. Just over 15 minutes to go. Speed up. Guys, you guys think I should leave my chicken whole since I'm roasting it whole, right? Like, don't. Wait, you're roasting a whole chicken? No, no, like a whole leg. Uh, Jackie. Yes? Don't really want to negotiate a bone and a chicken leg at a wedding reception. Yes, chef. <laughs> my life. Leg quarter is the best part of the chicken. You heard? But whatever, I got it. I mean, I could cook a chicken breast. Five minutes to go, guys. Dad has the pasta coming out. Pasta's coming around good. Can anyone go to the pass right now? Come on, come on, come on. Ten. Pass. Nine. I need to get the eight, on the plate. Eight. Come on. Seven. Come on. Seven. Uh, I need six. Wait up that chicken. Five. On the charger. Four. Four. No, charger. Three. Three. Anybody, Frank? Get it on. Get Two, it on. Sauce on. Sauce on. One. And serve, guys. Good job, guys. Well done. Why is there seven plates up there? I have two. One four, pork six. and two beef. What is this? Amanda. Yes, How many dishes are in front? There's seven dishes, chef. Unbelievable. Yeah, what the f is there seven up there for? Where's the extra dish coming from? Frank, you did chicken and beef? Yeah. Amanda told us she was doing beef. This is not good. What have we got? We got three beef, chef. And that's the best you can do for her. Can you just get your together? This is embarrassing. How many dishes are in front? There's seven dishes, chef. Chef Ramsay has challenged the teams to create two seafood appetizers, two
two chicken entrees and two beef entrees to be presented to his loyal sous chef Andy and her new husband Bryce for their wedding reception. Frank, you did chicken and beef? Yeah. Unbelievable. But unbeknownst to the rest of the team, Frank has made an extra beef dish. Everybody knew I was doing this ribeye. Let's do some math. I just want two beef dishes. Come on. We're keeping the steak, Diane, and we'll keep that one right there. That's it. Done. I don't know if Frank has a problem with me or females in general, but what am I, chop liver? Let's begin with the hot seafood appetizers. Bring them up, please. Bryce and Chef Andy will select one of the four appetizers to feature on their wedding reception menu. Thank you. First up. Ariel, let's start off with your seafood appetizer. I did a grilled piece of squid stuffed with lobster claw. Andy, what do you think visually? It's really opaque looking. Slightly phallic in terms of looks like a bison's penis. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say that. Not the most attractive. It's an aphrodisiac. You didn't cook the squid enough. It's still raw, it's very chewy. Yeah, Bryce? Yeah. It's just kind of off-putting yeah. visually. That's not a good start. Next up is Kristen's shrimp tempura with leek puree. How was that, though? Really good. It's really nice and light. Thank you, Chef. I think the shrimp's cooked beautifully. Thank you. Good job. Wow. For the blue team, Chad hopes to impress with his handmade pasta and prawns. How was that? I think the pasta's cooked perfectly. It's plentiful. Yeah, that was a great dish. Very good. Last up is Joe with his seafood chowder. Really nice flavors. I love chowder, so it came together very well. Thank you. Tough one. It's really tough. Um, Can I, I really one? like Kristen's because it's nice and light, but I know that our families might go for something a little heavier. What do you yeah. think? I think, Chad, uh, you, you put in the time to do the pasta yourself. I think I'll have to go with that. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Blue Team. Good start. Good job, Chad. Good Winning that first dish felt so good. Nice work there. Very nice. Uh, right, let's start off next with the beef entrees. Bring them forward, please. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, Blue. Hustle. Discover the dish, please. What I have for you guys today is a porcini crust ribeye, a Yukon gold puree with a little caviar on top there. I think visually it's a little bit lacking. Yeah, the caviar on the potatoes is a bit weird to me. OK. It's now up to Danny's filet with Romesco to try to wow the happy couple. I think you did a great job. The steak itself was great. Mm. Yeah, elegance. Thank you, nice. chef. Now it's Jared's time to shine with his Asian-inspired veal chop. It was a bit disappointing when I tasted it. Needs a lot more salt and pepper. OK. Definitely missing seasoning. What a shame. With Jared's dish coming up short, it's now time for Frank's Steak Diane, the dish that pushed Manda's dish to the sidelines. Mm. I mean, I think there's too much sauce going on. Looks like a marine boot has stepped all over it. We are all agreeing that the one standout dish is Danny's. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I was trusting that Frank knew his dish was on point, but I'm just disappointed that I didn't do what I needed to do to get my team to listen to me. It comes down to the chicken. Let's go. With the score tied heading into the last round, the chef whose chicken dish is selected will win the challenge and the Las Vegas reward for their team. Thank you, Jackie. First up is Jackie's pan-seared chicken breast with balsamic reduction. It was like 1980s. All the circles almost looks like you tried to do a dessert in a way. That sauce, it's like cement. It sticks to your teeth. That's clearly yes, not in the running. Thank you. Looking to redeem himself after his unimpressive steak Diane, Frank presents his second dish in this challenge, a chicken francaise. There's no flavor at all, really. There's no flavor? Yeah, I agree. There's not much going on. It's it, like I hospital food. Frank, two dishes. With Jackie and Frank's dishes out of the running, it's now up to Joe or Ashley to win it for their team. Ashley, describe the dish, please. Uh, what I have for you is a lightly pan-fried uh, chicken breast on top of a roasted purple cauliflower. How was that? It's nice. Even though it looks like a hearty dish, it's not really heavy. I agree. It, you know, it tastes refreshing. Thank you. For the blue team, Joe is presenting a stuffed chicken breast over pancetta Brussels sprouts. I can hear the wedding bells chiming as they're tasting that chicken, man. Mm -mm -mm. I thought it was very good, very well seasoned, looks great. I loved it. How was that for you? It was good. Is it Ashley's chicken dish or is it Joe's taking their team to Vegas? Uh, we're going to go with Joe's chicken dish. Wow. Good job, Joe. Thank you, Chef Andy. Thank you.
key challenge win, man. This was the second time it was down to me and Ashley. I feel awesome. Please give it up for our bride and groom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful okay. rest of the day. Thank you very much. Blue team, all of you are going for a ride of your lives as you zip line through the skies of Las Vegas, nearly 500 feet above the ground. How many? I don't do heights very well at all. If I were meant to be that high up in the air, I'd be taller than 5'6". Once you've calmed down from those giddy heights, you'll head to Caesar's Palace, where you'll check into your presidential suite. Oh, oh that's awesome! Oh. Your limos are waiting. Thank you, Chef. Let's go blue. Yeah, nice let's go blue. blue. Watch. And I'm glad we won, but I'm pissed the f off. You just saw the first two, and I was kind of like pushed out. You want my attention, you say my name. If we want to work together, I need to be heard. You want attention, you say yeah. Frank. This is That's how you communicate. Okay, this is you want to speak to me, you say, Frank! 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 You get into that habit, because well, if you, you want somebody's attention, you say their name. He wants me to be like, Frank! A crazy lady. I can't. I mean, I'm, and not only that, but I won't. I'm getting put in this position right here because I made a decision. Red team. You will be here assisting the celebrity wedding advisor with all the finishing touches for the wedding reception. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once you've finished all that, I want you to make the most difficult to pull off macaroons. Oh. I think you've got over two days' work and only a day to do it. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you, Chef. It would be really nice to be in Vegas right now, but I don't really want to go to Vegas with these people anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Hi. Hi. How are you? These rewards are getting bigger and bigger since day one. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. I've never done zip lining before, ever. I'm super, super stoked to get up there. Bye, guys. I'm a little hesitant. Oh, my God. I've got a handprint in my thigh as she's digging her nails into my leg. Oh, my God. This is so great. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Joe, just look at your feet, Joe, you know? Oh, man, I don't like this at all. I seriously don't like this. You want to get off? I want off this thing right now. Let's send it, baby, send it. I don't like this at all, man. I'll let you know when I get off. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this, look at this! Vegas, baby, beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Phenomenal. I can't believe I almost chickened out. I was shaking like a leaf, but uh, I'm glad I didn't let my fear stop me from um, that awesome experience. Woo! While the blue team is enjoying the Las Vegas high life, back at Hell's Kitchen, all right, you guys, let's get started. We'd have no time to waste here. Yep. Thank you. Celebrity wedding planner Kristen Banta has the chefs hard at work preparing for sous chef Andy's reception. All right, you guys, make sure that they're polished. Hi. <laughs> She's like an angel, wrapped in an angel, stuffed in an angel. <laughs> Served on top of a bed of angel feathers. How's it looking over here? Every time I set one down, I'm just more excited to grab another one, Miss Kristen. I, I just love that attitude. I would be her pool boy. I would date her. I would polish every piece of silverware for every function she ever had. I would do anything she needed. <laughs> Such a creep. All right, you ladies can go up to, and Hassan to the dorm for lunch. I hurt my foot the night before, but it wasn't that bad. But like right now, it's killing me. Oh, God, that looks gross. I'd get an x-ray today. I mean, what can you do for a broken foot? They're just going to put her in a cast, right? You know, if that happens, you're out. It's the day before the special wedding event in Hell's Kitchen. But in the midst of the red team's punishment, ah! Ariel's injured foot has become too painful to ignore. I'd get an x-ray today. For a broken foot, they're just going to put her in a cast, right? You know, if that happens, you're out. If I have to get surgery, that's it. 
but my foot hurts so bad. I just want to know what's going on. Here, come on. Oh my God, <laughs> Let's go. Let me go to urgent care, find out what's going on so I can come back and continue with the competition. So dramatic. Oh my Lord. While Ariel departs Hell's Kitchen in pain, back in Vegas, the blue team arrives at their presidential suite pain free. Oh man, thank you very much. Marble floors, marble walls. This is out of control, unbelievable. No, my room. My room. Hey. I am a single mom of three that's on food stamps. This would never happen to me, ever. This is the size of my condo complex. I didn't know they built places like this. <laughs> Practice my backstroke. <laughs> Where's that butler at? I'm getting low on champagne. Jeez. 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 No one's ever made a big deal over me like that in my life. Uh, it was nice to be spoiled a little bit. Like, Thus far, this is the best, best to win. first challenge for me to win with the boys blue team. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. While the blue team celebrates in the lap of luxury, back in Hell's Kitchen. Where are we at? What number are we at? The red team is busy preparing a mountain of macaroons. 43. Oh, we only need 100, though, right? Now we need 200. Oh, me. What up, guys? Why are you carrying crutches and not on them? Because I don't need crutches, man. What did the doctor say? I broke my last minute, the fifth oh, minute. You're a dork. Here, your crutches and go upstairs. Yes, chef. I'm really concerned whether I like Ariel or not. She's a strong cook on our team. But with a broken foot, tomorrow Ariel's going to be a big handicap. So we still need one more of these, unfortunately. After an exhausting night of punishment, the chefs get into the kitchen early to prepare for sous chef Andy and her husband Bryce's wedding reception. We need to do this. Yeah. Meanwhile, the blue team has returned this morning from Vegas. Chow, let me know when you're ready and we'll yeah. be in sync with each other. communication. But one chef is having some pre-dinner jitters. Dude, I I'm nervous. Nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. You know how to do this, man. This isn't just a dinner service. This is Chef Andy's wedding, Chef Ramsey's right-hand person. This is a big deal tonight. Line up. Yes, Chef. What is that on your foot, young lady? This is a yes. constrictor boot. What happened? I uh, broke my fifth metatarsal, but I'm good. Are you in pain? No. Please be careful. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Good evening. Good evening, Chef. Chef. Tonight is a very important night for me, and I want Andy and Bryce's wedding night to be flawless. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef! Let's go. All right. Uh, let's grab some pots. OK, Mourinho. Yes, Chef. Are you ready for a very, very important night? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Tonight, Chef Ramsay is hosting a wedding reception for Chef Andy, his sous chef of six years, and her husband, Bryce. <laughs> Ready? Oh, let's go. Hey okay, guys, we got this. The menu will include the winning dishes from yesterday's tasting challenge. On the prawns, please. The appetizers and entrees for the head table will be shared by the two kitchens. And of course, everything must go out at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the bride and the groom, Mr. Bryce and Andy Katzbeck. <laughs> Chef Andy looked absolutely stunning. And Bryce, you can tell by the look on his face, he knew how lucky he is. She's beautiful. She's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, Miss Kristen. She's so gorgeous. OK, off we go. Two scallops, two risotto, two prawn. Fire, yes? Yes, Chef. How long, Jackie? Six minutes, Chef. Six minutes, let's go. That's burnt. You're going to have to start over. Don't worry about it. What's the problem, Ashley? The garlic is burnt. She needs to start Let's over. Start over. Really? You're going to tell Chef Christina? What the f Ashley? Did you really just, just move along? I move along. Welcome to Risotto. Bird. Right behind Chef Hot. This is two risottos. Oh, man. Hey, hey, you two, come in. Come on, speed up, Jackie. That means now. Chef. First table, two risottos. I've got one and a half portions. Chef, we got it. Chef. 
I don't want Jackie to ruin this for all of us again. Not tonight, guys, huh? Not tonight. While there is unhappiness in the red kitchen due to Jackie's subpar risotto, in the dining room... Doesn't she look lovely? They're so happy, both of them. The unknowing guests are still enjoying the reception. You guys are amazing. Right. And I can't wait for you to make beautiful grandbabies. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen... Blue, here we go. Six top, two risotto, two prawn, two scallop. Yes, yes chef. chef! We need to stay ahead on this first push, yeah? Two scallop, two prawn, two risotto. Joe, what do you need? Uh, I need four. I need four. Chef Andy has been a, a crucial part of the uh, Hell's Kitchen family for the past six years, so the pressure's on. Where's the scallops? Where's the risotto? First two risotto, I'm two out. Two out, Herb. Hey, wait. How many times have I shown you? Out in one go. All right, yes, Chef. Risotto, where are they? Uh, risotto's 30 seconds out. Wait on everything else. Yeah, up there, walking. Come behind you, hot. Hot, hot sizzle. Hey, no herbs. Herbs, gotcha, Chef, sorry. They were overcooked. Oh, man. Rachel, come here. Yes, yeah, chef. Just touch them. They don't bite. They're so overcooked, it's insane. You can't do that to me. Yes, yeah, chef. All right, it's all about the bounce back. I'm definitely disappointing myself. Let's go, let's go. You know, but you have to bounce back. You got to keep going. All right, here's a clean sizzle. Both right here, right, bro? One minute, scalp? Yeah, one minute, one minute. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Frank, walk these scalps, please. Gotcha, gotcha. With Joe and Chad rebounding from their mistakes. Come on, let's go. Both the blue team and the red team. Walk your risottos. Walk your risottos. Service, please. Are now pushing out appetizers to the dining room. The shrimp is excellent. Really, really good. On order, six cup of table 10. Two risotto, two prawn, two scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef. And right now, the pressure is on Danny to deliver on the fish station. I need a solid two minutes, Jackie. Two minutes on these scallops. Yeah, you let me know. Danny. Yes, Chef. Are you using a non-stick pan? No, I'm not using a non-stick pan. I went through all of them, Chef. I didn't want to stay here and do nothing, Chef. There's a non-stick pan by the side of you. Danny. How long are the prawns? They're Wait. right in front of her face. If they were any closer, they'd burn her nose. Oh. Danny, Danny. Yes, yeah, Chef. There's yeah. a reason why I spend thousands of dollars on non-stick pans. Oh, no. Hey, hey, Red Team, come here. Oh. They're, they're stuck to the pan like to a blanket. We're late, we're slow, and look what I've got to serve. They look violated, those scalps. They should call 911 on her. Hey, Danny, look at me, seriously. I'm there, I am, Chef. I, seriously, I'm done. It's 45 minutes into Chef Andy and her husband Bryce's wedding reception. We're late, we're slow, and look what I've got to serve. And Danny screw up with scallops. Seriously, I'm done. As the head table waiting to be served. Wow. No, they <laughs> so Chef Ramsay decides to take matters into his own hands. There's a reason why we put these in a non-stick pan. Does anyone know why? So they don't stick to the pan, Chef. Danny doesn't know how to ask for help. She ruined, like, a ton of scallops. Go, yes, top table, yes. Go. With a little help from Chef Ramsay, the blue team and the red team's appetizers go out to the head table. Nice. It's about time. All right, guys, bring it back together. Scallops behind, scallops behind. And with both teams finding their rhythm. Welcome with scallops. Come behind, Chef Two Risotto. The last of the appetizers are sent out. Hassan, come here. Gerard, come here. Terrible start. Five minutes, fire, the top table's entrees. Away, one chicken, three beef, red team. Away now, blue team, three chicken, one beef. Go! Yes, chef. Five minutes, top table. Right behind you, I'm firing the head table right now. What did he say? Three, Tell me what he said. It's three beef, one chicken for the head table. It needs to be out in five minutes, OK? Five minutes. That's our VIP table. Let's make sure that's tight. Three chicken, one beef. How long, Jared? Behind, behind. I'm going five minutes out. Let's go. OK, I know you know how to cook, but this is Andy, yeah? So you need to just chef. With everyone wanting to deliver for Chef Ramsay's right hand for six years, Chef Andy and her husband Bryce, the spotlight now shifts to Jared, who is working on entrees. Over in the red kitchen. How long on that chicken? Hold on, let me check with the blue team. Hassan! The spotlight is on Hassan. How long do you need? I got three minutes. OK, I can do three minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Who is trying to make sure all the entrees go out at the same time. I need three minutes on the head table. Chef, I mean. Hassan is running around with like a chicken with his head cut off rather than like cooking the 
chicken. Yeah, I got the chickens. I'm basting them right now, and we got some more in the oven. As Hassan is determined to get his dish done in a timely manner. Over in the blue kitchen, Jared. You guys got one minute. One minute on the chicken. Nerd. Is just about ready with his. Chef Andy and Bryce's table. That's my number one concern right now. Hot. Put it here, please. Put it here, please. I'm praying to anyone that will listen. Please let this first chicken be good. Please let this first chicken be good. Dear Lord, help me. Pink chicken. All of you. All of you. All of you. Me. This is not happening. I'm going home. I'm done. This is somebody's wedding day. They're going to remember my raw chicken for the rest of their lives. You get one cooked, you baste it, you time it. That's the one job that you need to nail. Yes, chef. You can't give me the top table with raw chicken. Yes, chef. While Jared refires his chicken, over on the red side. Chicken, how long? One chicken going to the pad. Hassan is hoping to complete the red side of the VIP ticket. Right behind you, chef. Chicken's raw. The chicken's raw. Oh, my god. Come here, you. Go, 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 go. Yes, chef. Please start basting these. Hey, 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 all of you, honestly, I swear to God, one more mistake, and I'm going to kick you all out. The, both the chicken in the bottom, the sides, okay. they were undercooked. They just need to regroup, okay. get their heads together. All right, are they regrouped? Are their heads I, together? We hope so. While the wedding planner tries to keep things moving, over in the blue kitchen. Let's keep up with these times, guys. Come on. Chef, the times I need to make sure this chicken is done. Jared is being patient and cautious to ensure he won't make the same mistake twice. Guys, I'm good to go on chicken. I am not letting that happen again. Chicken, right here, chef. Not again, Josh. Go, go, go. With Jared's refired chicken passing the test, Chef Ramsey has decided to serve half of the head table with the blue team's entrees, and he's hoping the red teams will soon follow. Can we get it together? Yes, yes chef. chef. Andy, where's our food? Do you want mine, Mom? Are, are you going to eat that? Toss it this way. Here, it takes up. Give her a decent cut. There you go. <laughs> we'll split it four ways. We'll split it, yeah, four ways. We're rationing the dinner. Seriously, you think the mother of the bride can get some food around here? While Andy's mom snacks on a piece of someone else's entree, the red team is hoping Hassan can finish off the head table's entrees. Hassan, where's your chicken at, babe? Where's your chicken? Listen, bitch, with your cast, there's nothing I can do. I'm getting on chicken right now. Somebody throw me a bone. Chicken sauce is at the pass. Chicken! Right here. right here, Chef. Come into the pass. Hold the conversation. Look. Yes, Chef. Sorry, right, Chef. Chicken's raw. Hey. 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 Hold it. Come in. Hassan, why can you not produce? You are kidding me. What is happening? What happened to the red team? Are they not in there anymore? They're gone. You cannot be serious. Yes, Chef. It's an hour into sous chef Andy's wedding reception. Chef chicken, slice it, please. And while Chef Ramsey has already sent the blue team's entrees out oh, to the head God. table. I'm really here without you. Chicken's rule. Hassan's chicken is holding up the other half of entrees for the second time. You're kidding me. What is happening? You cannot be serious. Yes, yeah, Chef. You can't do this to me. Who cooked the chicken? I did, Chef. What is going on? I have another one backed up for the head table. I can just need to flash it for a moment. <sighs> no, guys. <laughs> me. <laughs> no. Watch out, watch Put out, watch out. Put all the chicken in the oven. Put all the chicken in the oven. It's a one chicken that is cooked. There's a hurricane brewing in the kitchen, and nobody can see me in the eye of the storm. Go, 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 go. Where's the other chicken? Can someone sear off more chicken so I can baste them? Right there, butter. I took charge. It just had to happen. Like, I don't know what was going on in Hassan's head. Like, you can't put out nine orders of chicken. Chicken. Chicken is coming right now to the pack, chef. While Ariel takes charge of the chicken. Service, please. The blue team is looking to chat on fish. I'm behind. Hot, hot, hot. And Jared on meat. Chef, this is a hot pan. To get their final entrees out to the dining room. Oh. Oh, God. Here we go. Come here, you. I don't mind pink, but I am going to stop at raw. Hey, hey. 
Hey, you're cooking the easiest entree. Yes, so sir. How's that possible? <laughs> Disgust me. One minute. Chad, you worked in Michelin rated restaurants. What's so hard here? Cook your fish. Make sure it's cooked to make sure the skin is crispy. Walk into the fast. Come behind, behind, behind. With Chad delivering on his second attempt at the salmon. How's that? Is it good? You guys pull it together right now. Three minutes to the pass, last table. Both teams are now closing in on completing all the tickets. Chicken's up, they're waiting for the sauce. Table seven, yes? That's very good. Oh, that's good. Charles, beef, chicken, let's go. Coming down. Going up right now with Charles Garnish. Send that one, please. Finally got some entrees. Yes, we did. Good, I'm pleased. To Bryce and Andy. Bryce and Andy. Bryce and Andy. Cheers. 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 This was a wedding reception for a very loyal friend. And you know what? I couldn't even look Andy in the eyes. I was that embarrassed. There cannot be a winning team tonight. Both teams come up with two people that you'd be stronger without. Now, piss off, all of you. The yes, chef. Ugh. This should have been a seamless dinner service tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say flat out, my vote is Danny and Haas for the protein miscommunication and the ups. I agree. First of all, as far as what the team can do better out, I, that's, that's to me. This is the second time I'm, I'm fished with the scouts. I agree. Are they serious? Please. I will never go home. I'm not going home tonight. I'm not going home tomorrow. I'm not going home next week. My nominations will be for you, Haas. Haas, you've been struggling here. You haven't had a straight service. I understand that I had a bad dinner service, but I'm here on the team making the team better. If I go home, you guys are going to be My vote is Danny and Haas. I say Danny and Haas, too. Everything she said, I just said. That was really quick, huh? I'm not going home tonight. That's all I have to say. Anybody want to start? Chad, obviously I'm going to say you. Obviously. You f***ed up one or two things on fish tonight. Hell yeah. You know, you, you're you meat station. You had to refire, so I refired. I had two perfect char ready to go, and then now refire the ticket, and it's just like a slippery slope. I messed up. I'll take the hit on that. But Jared had the raw chicken. He's the weakest cook tonight. My nominees tonight are Jared, Joe. I seem to be the default answer for some reason. The problem was apps weren't ready. Right. I have something to say. Joe made a hell of an effort tonight. Yeah, he had dishes to come back, but you had raw chicken, you know. I really don't feel I deserve to, to be up there tonight. I finished strong, and it'll be a cold day in hell if I go up for elimination. Kristen. Yes, Chef. Red Team's first nominee and why? Tassin for his lack of control with the chicken dish tonight. Second nominee. Second nominee is Danny, Chef. We just had too many scallops going down. Joe. Yes, Chef. Blue Team's first nominee and why? Chad. Because of his troubles on the fish station tonight. Blue Team's second nominee and why? Uh, our second nominee is, uh, um. On an evening when Chef Ramsay wanted desperately to come through for Chef Andy and new husband Bryce, both teams were horrific and lost. The red team nominated Hassan and Danny. The blue team's first nominee was Chad. Blue team's second nominee and why? Uh, our second nominee is uh, Jared. Uh, sending up raw chicken to the uh, bride and groom's table uh, was unacceptable. All four of you step forward. Danny, Hassan, Chad, Jared. Hassan, why is she staying in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, this competition means everything to me. I mean, I had a rough night, but I don't think that the red team would be better without me. And I thoroughly believe I'm a better chef than Danny. He's dreaming if he thinks he's better than me. 
I feel like I'm better than anyone else on my team, Chef. I've been completely selfless in this competition. If anything, I've been doing what I can to make sure that every single team member gets across the line. So if I need to step up, I will step up, Chef. I won't step aside. Chat, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I bring a level of professionalism, organization, and a skill set to the kitchen that I don't think would be there without me. Professionalism, skill set. Psst, you need to cook as well. Yes, chef. Going forward, now I'm definitely going to focus more on just the basics. Jared. Chef, I'm a strong cook. I'm a strong leader. I take this more serious than anyone else in this whole competition, chef. It's a tough one tonight. My decision is Hassan, give me your jacket. Yes, Chef. Time is done. Tonight was your worst performance in this competition. It's been nothing but a pleasure, Chef. I really genuinely appreciate it. I was the best person on the red team, and I'm a team player, and I'm a hard worker. The future for the red team right now, they're going to fall apart again. They're going to hate each other. They're going to scream at each other, and you know what? I hope they do. I don't really care. I'm cheering for the blue team now. Tonight may have been the roughest service we've had. You need to fight back with some passion. But it better happen quickly. But get lost. The red team wants to get rid of me because I'm a threat. But I'm not going anywhere, and they know it, too. Danny is crazy if she thinks she's the best chef here. The way that she up scallops tonight, she just proved that one dead wrong. I'm meant to run BLT Steak in Vegas. Chef, I know you believe in me, and I know you see it in me. I'm your guy. I thought a move on the red team would give Hassan a chance to shine. Unfortunately, it only shined the light on his shortcomings. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. You're gonna start making me fly. Things are about to heat up. I can't watch this. And we don't mean in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. When one chef tries to use her powers of seduction to win over her teammates. I would find a pole and money would just go like this. It's not something I'm ashamed of. Will it backfire? She's a sorry human being. A perfect example why I can't stand working with women. Amanda, get motivated right now, Amanda. She's pathetic. And turn one of them against her. It's a turn on the chicken. Oh, I still need five or six minutes. No, no. You really don't deserve to be here. Will it all end with a walk of shame? I think you should take your apron off and go home. Find out next time. Oh, I'm trying really hard to be strong. On a heartbreaking episode. I can't win right now. Of Hell's Kitchen. Feast your eyes on two delicious hours of the one and only American Idol live tomorrow.